Hello and welcome to part one of my attack boat guide. This guide is going to show you everything you need to know about the attack boat in Battlefield 4, especially since the spring patch. There are a couple of things that you need to bear in mind, especially when using certain weapons such as the TV missile. As you can see in the background, we're going to be looking at a bit of gameplay, the majority of which is on Parasol Storm, as that is my favourite map for using the attack boat. I'll try to be using a lot of the different weapons as well. Now getting straight into my loadout, you can see that I run with the 25mm cannons. I think they're the best for taking on infantry and vehicles, especially boats that you come up against because you can get a lot of hits onto the back and take out the infantry on the guns and on the repair seat. You can also take out a lot of the helicopters in the air as well if they're close enough. Secondly, I like to run with the TV missile. Even with the the amount of dust you're going to get, I still think it's probably the best. The only other option for me would be the tow missile. That's something I'm going to be trying out a lot more in the future as you can spam them a bit faster and there's, they're less prone to dusting. But the TV missile is the one I've run with at the minute. Active protection is a no-brainer. Your uh, optics are going to be pretty much your choice, although thermal I would recommend because you can spot more using that. And then run with the belt feeder because you're going to be winning a lot more of those one-on-one -on -one battles, especially using the 25mm cannons. In terms of my actual soldier loadout, I've run with the mechanic because you're going to get fast repair if you ever find yourself on the back, increase cover and take less explosive damage. It helps if you're on the back of the boat. And then run with an RPG or a small, a PDW of your choice, frag grenade, repair tool, all very important. And will find yourself using it a lot more when you either crash or ground your boat and then have to jump out and do a bit of fighting on foot. If you're on the back seat of the boat as well, remember you can switch between the seats and you might find that jumping to the fourth seat, having an RPG might win your battle once or twice, you don't know, so it's worth keeping it. I mean, you can run with a javelin or a stinger if you're really, really bad at aiming the RPG, but they're not that difficult to use if you just put a little bit of practice in. So now you can see in the background what happens when you have this loadout. You have very good short range weapons with the 25mm and even the TV, but then you also have great long range weapons with the TV missile having 700 meters in terms of its range and then you're going to have the 25mm which if you can master the drop off you can take things out from a fair distance as well. Using the TV missile on a boat that you spot and getting the jump on him is often the best thing to do instead of running up and trying to get a closer shot. So if you can be accurate from range and understand how far away you can shoot before reaching the range of the TV, especially with the new patch dropping the distance down on it a little bit, you're going to find yourself winning these battles a lot more. You can get mobility hits with your TV a lot easier. So it's worth especially bearing that in mind when you spot a, a boat in the distance. That's it for this episode. It's only a short one on my loadout. Check out episode two and possibly three for more information on how to use the TV, how to master it, how to use this loadout to the best of your ability and how to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you in the next episode.